Here is the formula for simple interests with the variables listed. And here is the formula for solving for time in simple interest. We're going to go through how to solve for time in simple interest in Excel. As an example, let's say that someone borrowed $1,500 and paid $288 in interest. The simple interest rate was 6.4%. How many years was the loan for? I've listed the variables and amounts, as you see here in Excel. We're going to put the answer in cell B6, so left-click on B6, so it is highlighted. Next, we type in an equal sign, and from here, following the formula, we left-click on the interest amount, cell B3, and then we type in a division sign, which is a forward slash in Excel. Next, we type in an open parentheses, and then we need to left-click on the principal amount, cell B2. Now we type in a multiplication sign, which is Shift-8 on the keyboard. And from here, we need to left-click on the rate of interest, cell B4, and then type in a close parentheses to close off the formula. And now we hit the Enter key, and we have our answer of three years. One note for if you need the time and the number of months. Here in cell C6, I have a similar problem set up. I'll hit the Enter key, and we get 2.5 as the number of years. To convert this to months, we take our answer of 2.5, cell C6, and multiply it by 12 months. As you see, I have set up in cell C7. I'll hit the Enter key, and we get 30 months as our answer. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.